Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, check your ECU and your Lexus SC400, SC300, LS400 for uh, basically blown capacitors. So let's get right into it. First, you're going to come down to the passenger side of your car and you're going to basically find a corner and pull this carpeting back. Then, the lighting's not that great in here, but... Uh, there's going to be a bolt down there on the left hand side and then there's going to be a bolt on the right hand side right there and then you're going to see this cover here you're going to pull that cover up and then out like this and then there's going to be one more bolt holding your ECU down and then you're just going to unplug the ECU and then it comes out like this now, when you're checking your ECU for blown capacitors, you are basically going to just take off one, two, three, four. You're going to pop those off. The cover might be a little bit sticky, so just carefully pry it with a flathead screwdriver. And then you're going to see your board here. From here, you're going to pop off one, two, three, four, five, six screws. I'd have a couple off because I was doing this earlier. But uh, I'm gonna pop those off, then you're gonna open this up, and then you're gonna check in there for any blown capacitors. And that's what we're gonna see in a second here. All right, so for your last step, you're gonna take all these screws out of the ECU here. Sorry, my fat arm is in the way. You take all these screws out, and you want to gently lift up like this and take a look in here and if you see mine is leaking right here there it is right there you can see there it is that capacitor has got all full full of goo all over the bottom of it and that's exactly what you're going to look for all throughout this ECU for all the connections everything you're going to look for that I only have the one that I can see right now, but that's enough. That's enough to cause major issues in this car. Especially like if you're having issues with downshifting, full throttle, bogging, your car won't idle, anything like that, check your ECU first thing because chances are it's either that ECU or it's going to be the ECU in the back corner over there, right where my finger is. So if you're having any kind of fuel or spark issues, Check your ECU first, because these Lexuses, they're getting to that age where, you know, the electronics, they're, that's, you know, computers are only made to last five or ten years, so, I mean, that's, <laughs> we're going on 30 years now, that's really pushing it for how long uh, electronics are supposed to last, so, it's definitely a good thing to check for your SC if you're having these kind of issues. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys on the next one.